All right, we are back with more Factorio. Here we go. I am Pax. We are continuing here with our playthrough of Pyanodon Alternative Energy. And we're trying to race through the beginning of the game and go pretty fast and pretty effectively here. And we have just handcrafted automation science. And now we want to go ahead and start improving our minds to... Well, deal with the ash and then start getting towards building our first mall. And the idea here is to, well, just store the ash into the boxes. So only one uh, thing of ash can really stack up in the everything. So, but ash stacks to a thousand. So that's one good kind of thing, but we just ditch it into some boxes here, um, it will definitely go like quite a long way towards helping us, uh, well, postpone the ash apocalypse, I guess. And let's continue just trying to keep this hand fed as well. And hopefully then we're so close to then finishing the last little bit of automation science, so want to get a couple more inserters, a lot more inserters. So let's get those in the production queue. Oh yeah, maybe that's that many. And okay, here we go. Here are your last five science packs. There we go, halfway there. And so yes, yeah, so we were just setting up this little system here for creating our buffer for ash and so then now what we want to do is update the inserters so hopefully i can just again have these and we'll have just one just i don't have any filters and so then it'll output ash and then we need one more that says whitelist ash on the miners because if we don't whitelist it it will also output the coal so we need these filters everywhere now and then we'll start now creating our new system for also starting to like deal with ash a little bit and we'll do this one at a time but what we have to do now is go through and manually clean out the ash because otherwise it will kind of stall the whole system out and we don't want that so I'm just going through clicking through taking the ash out there we go there we go we need more inserters lots more inserters please Go ahead, make them, make them, can just like clean this off now. Okay, good, good, good. And then probably need some more copper. Automation is on the way, on the way. All right, okay. All right, then we just want to do this a couple more times, essentially. So, want this one. We need some more boxes. Go ahead. And let's update the inserters. Okay, update, 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 update. Keep going. More inserters. More, 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 more. Now, clean the ash out. Okay. So, I just also want to say shout out to a couple of YouTubers that have been following to help me figure out what to do. Like, a lot of Pyanodon is just figuring out what to do, so. Definitely to uh, Simon Plays in particular. I'll, I'll link his little channel in the description, but he did, did a lot of work uh, planning out this kind of route and how to essentially speed run by anodons, I guess, if you want to call it that. But so uh, grab some more stone bricks and put more stone bricks down here. Since we're sort of waiting on these inserters to get done, we need more. Automation, coming, coming. Give me this. Let's help clear this out. We uh, need these chests. Soon enough, soon enough. All right, one more round of this, at least for the iron patch. Update the inserters here. And then, oh yeah, then build, build this. Okay. Okay, got some boxes now coming. Clear out the ash here. Clear it out, clear it out. Ash, ash, ash. Be gone. Be gone, Ash. Okay, good. Alright. OK, 
Okay, we need some more belts. More inserters. Come in, come in, come in. All right, we're getting a little, a little ahead of it, but it's fine. And then, yeah, we want to do the same thing for copper, more or less. So let's just go ahead and do it here. Then we'll whitelist here in the copper, of course. All right, belts are coming. And things are looking on the up and up, I guess. Here we go. More stone bricks, please. Okay, good. I think we're okay in terms of science and everything. Yep. Looking good. All right. Bots, thank you for building for me. Yes, I mean, it's, I'm not like really playing speedrun per se, but I do want to get through the early game as efficiently as possible here. And okay, so then what we want to do is we can... Oh yeah, we're still waiting on the technology. How many belts do we have? Like, not that many, but okay. So the idea will be to then bring the copper up and merge it with the iron over here. Something like that. And we will want some kind of copper and iron buffer going eventually. So we'll just leave those there. We have this going now. Looks like it's pretty much up and running. We can move this one. And we got some more belts coming, I think. We might want to also expand the copper. There we go, automation is finished. We can also build assembling machines. So let's get a couple of those in the queue. More iron, more copper. There we go, awesome, awesome. And yes, yeah, so the intention is then to kind of drag this shared belt over here a little bit. And also, now that we're done with science, we can basically just clear out like all of this stuff. We don't need it anymore for now, for a while. And help you out here. Just hold on to the flora, and you can even hold on to some ash for me. Cool. Yeah, just have the buildings too. And, uh, oops, and the ammo. Yeah, take this. Take all this. Cool. Yeah, we'll come back to the science soon enough, but that's all we can want to do really for now. And... We will then try to be automating, fully automating automation science before we do any more. We're not going to do any more handcrafting of science. All right, and it looks like we got our things coming, so still waiting on the queue to start finishing up here. And all right, so what we want to build is primarily small parts, so that's our main goal. So this uh, has been, this is a part of every important building and belt and inserter and so you can see like what's taking so long is actually the crafting of small parts so we have to so we have to craft all these intermediates we need bolts and gears and copper cables so the idea will just be to directly kind of build all these different parts of course and feed them into this uh, small parts container here so I want to make sure it's in the right location and so these uh, no bolts need iron sticks and then we also need to make gears, so let's see if we can make a couple more assembling machines. One more. One more is something, I guess. Okay. Then we actually need two more after that, so. All right, so this would be sticks. Sticks. Try again. All right, and so these mechanical inserters and in pyanodons, it's pretty cool because we, we have like this somewhat decent amount of you know, logistics that is free, and well, in old versions of Pyanodon, you did not have, you still had to use electronic circuits to craft, to do things, And but, you know, real electronic circuits are extremely far away, but then in the old version, you had to like manually craft it over and over. It was so tedious and painful. So it's nice that we have like at least some decent logistics to start with. And these mechanical inserters are cool because they don't take any energy, but they are excruciatingly slow. And it's very important to know the throughput of the mechanical inserter. It's only 0.6 items per second. And so most of our production is going to be inserter limited. And so that will be something. 
So we're getting close to then maybe making this work a little bit. So we just need to have boatloads of inserters everywhere to, to get anything going. And also then all the assembling machines are of course burner assembling machines here. So they will also then need the fuel. And of course that means they will also produce, well, ash, yes, gear. <clears throat> okay, so this will be the kind of almost the setup for small parts here, and hopefully you can build a couple of undergrounds. So I want to just go from here to here, so that way I can bring this belt around. Actually, I might want to use an underground for this one too. We'll bring this all the way to here, yes, and then we need more belts and more undergrounds. Can we, what are we missing, copper? Kappa, Kappa. Okay, give me some more stuff, please. We're okay on the... 1, the inserters, I think, for now. Alright, almost there with this. How are we doing? Can we build anything else? No. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Alright, we need more undergrounds. I guess they're coming. Oh, let's see. I'll just do... One at a time here. Okay, there we go. That's way faster. Okay. All right, so we want to basically underground over here as well. And then bring the gears in. So this will be that. And then this will be the output. So we'll bring it down here somewhere over there. And we need two inserters for output for the small parts. So here we go. Small. Small parts. There are just so many items in this game. Whitelist, whitelist. Always remember to whitelist. I make that mistake so often. Cool, and then we have some number of small parts. Yay, hey. Let's just start stockpiling them into some chests. Okay, good. Now, I think we are a bit bottlenecked by copper, so can we build another copper mine? We need some stone. That's okay, easy. More stone bricks as well, please. Just want to put pave the world here, get a little bit faster, get some stone bricks over at our mall area. Give me these. All right, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Still need more belts and inserters here, so let's go for those. Something like that. This should be good. Let's see if we can't uh, maybe encourage more small part production here. So encouraging, I know. There we go. And I might have built it too close. We might need to move it. Oops. But let's see. Can we make another one of these? I need, think need a bit more copper here. There we go. All right. Enough inserters? Probably not. Maybe. Maybe. A little bit. Kind of. Maybe. We need some more boxes. All right. That's, you know, that's not too bad. More boxes, more kappa, go, go, go. More belts, more belts. All right, well, yep. Small parts are coming. And trying to expand just a little bit, just get it going a little bit. More stone bricks. Okay, we get this mine online. We need more inserters, I guess. And more iron. More iron, more small parts. Just a couple of inserters. Come on, come on. A couple more. Okay, we got it. We got it. Maybe, maybe. We need the boxes. Which means we need more iron. Okay. Da -da -da. One box. So this is going to be the beginning of our little mall situation here. And I think I put it too close, so let's move it. I want to move it. Maybe, actually, it wasn't that bad. Okay, move it just to here. Thank you, Pots. I'm sorry. And then this will eventually have another lane right here. So this will go kind of like this, maybe. Let's do that for now. It's fine. It's fine. All right, good, good. Let's go. More inserters, please. And, oh wait, I need the boxes. I need your boxes, inserters. 
More boxes, please. Are all these good? Looks like they're all fine. Okay, there's the boxes. Go, go, go. Okay, more copper. Thank you. And let's see, we lost our fuel. Okay, then can we build more of these? Yes, but we need more iron, of course. Give me iron. Okay, there's one. We need two. And yeah, we don't need these gears. We don't need all these sticks. And have a little bit of copper. Keep the small parts coming, please. Okay, good. Good. Iron mine. The copper mine is back online. There we go. All right. And the second one. There we go. Okay, the last thing we want to automate here is the other kind of main intermediate product, which is the air core inductor. Air core inductors, which also need the copper cable, and we can just feed it like that. I think again we'll do one of these undergrounds. We don't have any. More iron. More iron. Okay. One underground. I guess that's fine. Two. Well, no, like from here to here. One more. This is, I think it needs iron sticks. So iron sticks again. And more inserters. Okay. We need more. More, more, more. Always more. All right, that's a decent number of small parts, yes. More inserters. Okay, good, good. All right, you need can have some more copper. Have some fuel, have some fuel. And yes, we'll, we'll also have to eventually deal with the ash and all that stuff, so. That will be coming up soon enough. And these bolts, I don't want those. Cool, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Let's uh, cap these just in case I want to. All right, more copper's coming. Thank you. And small parts are coming. Very good. Okay, we need more belts and more inserters and more, 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 more. But I think now we have the beginning of our automation and our mall. And next time we will continue to flesh out our basic infrastructure buildings and push towards automating automation science, but we'll call it here for today. There you go, Factorio. I am Pax. See you in the next video.